Hello YouTube, so as you can see here we have the uh, Samsung Q1 Ultra, open it up. Here's the PATA cable, it's the 40 gigs hard drive, basically the same tab you will see on your iPods uh, in the past when they were hardware iPods. Here's the 1 gigabyte DDR free memory, DDR2 memory, sorry. So, the thing is, uh, the BIOS is locked on this device, so I will try to uh, remove the BIOS memory chip and uh, see if it will reset the settings on it so I can access the BIOS. And also I will put here 2 gigs of RAM and I will try to find an, an SSD for this one but first I would like to see what's inside this disk if there are some valuable data or not. Okay, and you were wondering what's on the back side of here or simply nothing. This is a metallic coating for better cooling and that is all. Also on this PCI Express slot, uh, we will install later the uh, HD decoder card for high definition video for both of the devices. But I will first uh, compare the difference in the YouTube and stuff to see if it will really make a difference or not. Uh, it's writing there that for the one, but basically should be working also the normal any PCI Express card. Okay. So after a bit struggling I finally managed to remove uh, the main board. As you can see it was sticking here on the some pad here and it basically was like glued there. But here you can see we have the battery and here we have the VLAN card. This could be basically replaced for the BGN version, but as you can see only the G antenna, I think, uh, is pulled out here. So, strange. And this is not used. Or I could manage to uh, put it uh, uh, all way to what part I think it is here shown yeah here you can see there I could manage to put it here the connection and there I can have external antenna and that way I can sniff <laughs> the villains of the others yeah but I will have really strong uh, uh, strong gain basically okay so let's um, remove the Heatsink as well, as you can see this is big copper plate, quite nice. And also unplug this battery and put a new uh, thermal pass there. And here you can see how much thermal paste they use for these CPUs and chipset. Quite a lot, quite a lot. Nasty. So let's get this cleaned and we can try how much oh, it is not that dried up how I was expecting to be so quite quite good basically but here it is quite quite dried out you can see the glue to keep it in the place <laughs> amazing So here you can see I cleaned the CPUs nicely. They are really, really nice. I think I can show it this way. So you can see the, the text there. Intel, yeah. Nice. And I also polish the
cooper a bit so better contact so let's put some thermal paste and assemble it so here you can see apply thermal paste I know it is not proper uh, only really small and mount but uh, I won't really cover it similarly like the Samsung did and uh, want the whole chip covered because there's direct contact on this the chip so should be okay I also put around the same amount also on my older uh, on the second Samsung computer so should be okay so when I am starting to assemble every pieces together and let's see if the removal of the battery helped to the bio situation with the password if not I will have to somehow find a software to get it unlocked so I have installed uh, 2 gigs of RAM uh, some Kingston value RAM is quite good should be working correctly and I will turn on the computer without the hard drive just to um, get it booted uh, from USB to see if everything is working correctly on this because um, this hard drive um, I keep it running for a few minutes and the system simply did not boot even after 30 minutes so I think it's maybe bad drive so we will see I had to uh, cut my lights off because it's hard to show you as you can see it writes press F1 to resume F2 to set up because the battery uh, was removed so basically it should be uh, without the password now mm, but uh, I don't know how to press F function so this will be quite hard but I will probably insert in the my small remote control and we will get in there and I will also put a stand here on the BIOS so I have my little remote ready so I will try to press the F2 ok we are in and I will try to make it a bit focus better hmm you can see the screen flicker a lot ok but I think that not, should not make any problems at all so system time how we can set this Okay. Uh -huh. Sh enter. Okay. Zero seven. Okay. And system date. Fifth. No. Hmm. So. Ten. Fifteen two thousand sixteen. Okay. Hard drive no graphics memory we can set already to more. And I can see the BIOS version is quite old, so we will upgrade the BIOS. Intel step step okay, enable it. Uh, Okay, so Unix doesn't matter really. ADB hmm. internal run power saving mode. Okay, there's someone that we see no set super password no normal lock off summary screen boot time diagnostic screen brightness mode level. Okay, virus always on, smart battery calibration. Okay, and boot device priority. Ah, okay, so we'll move this a bit. USB K on, on how to.
Hmm. Ah, okay, like this. Okay. And USB K like this. Okay. There. Good. And FGTD as well. Okay. Interesting. I maybe probably can install Express hard drive inside and should be able to boot from it. Hmm. And that way I can have faster speeds, but I need to test it out. Okay. So basically this is done. I can assemble it or we better find some spare hard drive to test it out but I don't have any hard drive yet so we will continue later so this is part 2 of the video of the Samsung Ultra and here you can see this is my first one where I try to install the uh, HD decoder card here you can see the SSD with the um, with the we can say converter from MSATA to ZIF adapter here we can see 2 gigabytes of RAM and everything taped out so and I will also do something similar for the second one and you can see me okay so I will also do for the second one there Let's get it built and see if this card will be detected in BIOS. So we had the test running on the Acer, the Alien vs Predator 2, and also now we will test it on the Samsung Q1 Ultra to see the difference of the integrated GMA graphics. Um, back in the Acer we had the 915 GM, I think, and now we have 945. GM integrated graphics. So uh, let's see how it will be running. We have the same settings for the maximum quality 800 to uh, 632 bits color. So let's see, maximum setting for the graphics. So, hurry up, Frosty. We ain't got all day. Don't you have work to do? Everybody's waiting on you. Heck, I even prepped your gear for you. Isn't that nice of me? Thanks, dude. I'll remember who's asked to pull out of the fire first when everything goes to hell. Duke, we have an operation to run here. Quit flirting and get back to work. Looks like it is running much, running much, much better. Commander on the deck? Compared to the Get around and listen up. Older version. Six weeks ago, the Whalen Utani Corporation lost contact with the research. I think we will stop it now. Yeah. Here you can see it is much, much better. Well, the. Graphics is now graphics card is I think three years more mature, so it should have been running correctly. And you can still see me. Johnson, where the hell did you learn to fly? Flight school, the same place that taught me not to fly blind in hurricane winds. What'll it take to get airborne? A landing beacon and wind shear data for a start. Plus the ship's a little beat up. Same place has jumped. I can fix it, but it'll take me an hour or so. The antenna's fried, though. So much for calling down reinforcements. Once we control the complex, we'll control an entire subspace array. Hall, red team, get the power on. Well, looks quite good. Let's 
have a test run. I have no proper setup uh, the keyboard and the mouse. No, still a bit uh, laggy. I don't know if I'm doing it correctly. Ah, oh, I must. Okay, now we have it. Silly me, I didn't play this game for a while. The game looks quite good uh, on this um, display when it is uh, 800 to 600. I need to set a bit lower sensitivity because it is much big for me. An old school guy. There. Yeah, much better. I think you will get seizures from this brightness settings but well enjoy it <laughs> so I don't know how to to is use I have not set this stuff. What happened? Okay. But it's running quite good, as you can see. For the high settings, so it is really playable. This older game. Just to show you. Hike details. You can set best. Let's see if it will change somehow. No. Looks the same. Nice. The graphics is amazing on it, so it is clearly playable. Now I am interested how it will run on the Dell 610, but this is really nice playable in these graphics. Nice little gaming machine, for sure. Okay, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed.